familiar song, we're going to sing a thunder blood. While walking down a memory lane, oh, not so long ago, oh, Satan came right by my side, making me feel low. He brought a thought of hurt and pain when I had gone astray. He wanted to discourage me as I walked along my way. That's right. He said, you're undeserving, because I know where you have been. I have a record of your life when you were bound by sin. I know your darkest secrets that you would never tell. What makes you think you don't deserve a place with me in hell? Yeah. I heard the old accuser, and this was my reply. You're right for all the things I've done. I sure deserve to die. Yes. My righteousness is filthy rags, my goodness is unclean. <coughs> There's only one thing I can say to what you said to yes. me. It's under the blood, oh praise his dear name. Right. I'm not what I used Thank to you. be. My life's been changed, Amen. not shackled by sin and shame. It's already gone.
gave us everything that we need. So when we stand before him, I, I hate to report this to you, but there's no excuses. That's right, brother. That's right. And I think you ought to know that beforehand. Now, he's going to let you get, get into heaven, but I mean, there's a bunch of rewards that you're going to miss out. Right. Amen. I, I just want to get all, I want to do what God 
Amen. Wanted me to do. Yeah. Amen. Right. right. And, and and listen, I know sometimes it's hard to figure out what God wants you to do. I mean, in my life, there's there's been times that I just wondered and wondered. But you know, God always brings that moment into your life. Yes, sir. <clears throat> changes there's always moments Luke chapter 4 Luke chapter 4 we'll start in verse 1 familiar scripture here this is where the devil tempted Jesus Christ in the wilderness Right. Let's go to the Lord prayer. Dear Father, we come before you. God, I ask you now to have thy will in thy way. God, uh, help me to put my words in proper order. Lord, that they that the word of God might be read distinctly. Yes. And Father, they might be made to understand. God, I'll give you the glory, the praise, and honor for it. In Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Chapter 4, verse 1. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. Now, did he have to be? Hmm. You think that. And Jesus Christ being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing. And when they had, were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written Amen. that men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Right. And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. Right. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give thee. Right. I want you to look in verse 5, this little phrase, in a moment. Mm. Time. Now, how powerful is it? How powerful is it? Well, the devil <laughs> taking him up into a high mountain. I think he just picked him up. Took him up there. Yeah. Amen. And I don't know how this happened, but he took him up into that high mountain. He showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. You know how long a moment is? A moment is a short space of time. Yeah. Now, yeah, you know on your iPhone and your computer, you can look at all those things all over the world, can't you? But not in a moment of time. Mm. Man, you haven't got enough internet speed to do that. Right. Amen. I mean, usually we're sitting there tapping our toes and waiting for it to happen. Amen. 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 But the devil, just in a moment, that's right. The power of the moment. <clears throat> Just a moment of time. You don't realize how powerful the devil is, how persuasive he can be. And what you've tried to build a lifetime in just a moment, the devil can take it all away. Well, that's right. That's right. It's true. So, I'd like to say here, what was this all about? What was Christ trying to teach us? That we need to be prepared for the moment. Did he need Amen. to do this? What was the purpose of this? Why did he go into the wilderness? Why did he fast that long? Why did he do all those things? He's given us an example. That's right. He had great power. 
He could have French fried the devil any time. Amen. That's right. Amen. But the only thing he used here in these is the word of That's right. God. Amen. He humbled himself. He, he, he had all power. That's right. He was God. But here, he handled this as a man. Amen. So we know right. how to handle the devil. Exactly. In a moment of time. I like to preach this message, preparing for the moment. Because the moment will come. Yes. Let's just be honest here for a little while. Our, we live for the moment. Yeah. Most of our lives is drudgery. I mean, really, you work all day long. How much do you really remember? If there are just certain moments of joy, agony, or pain. Sure. If you bust your thumb open, you'll remember that. Tell me a moment. It only took a moment to do that. <laughs> right. right. You'll remember that for quite a while. I'm just telling you, in our life, we live for the moments. Yep. The moments of joy. That's right. Amen. And this week, we've had some moments. Yeah. We've had an opportunity yeah. to shout. Yeah. Right. And I'm saying, don't miss the moment. Boy, that's yeah. good. Amen. Because there's good moments, and there are bad moments. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let's look about this, how that Jesus showed them to prepare. To prepare. I'd like to say, first of all, if we look back in chapter 3, in verses 21 and 22, we'll find out that he got baptized. Yeah, amen. He didn't have to do that. No. Amen. Baptized don't save, save you. That's the submission yeah. of the will. Amen. So he submitted himself to John's baptism. He didn't have to do that. He had no sins to him. That's right. Amen. Why did he do that? To show us that we needed to do it. Amen. If Christ did it, that's good enough for me. Amen. I'm going to do it. Amen. That's right. Good. Amen. Yeah. I don't need any more good than that. If he showed me this is part of the preparation yeah. for the battle to go into the wilderness, yeah. amen, then that's the first thing I need to do. I need to be a member of a church. Yeah. I need to submit myself underneath the word of God. Amen. Hey. That's what he did. It's good. So uh, he said, well, uh, I want to be prepared if the devil comes around. Well, you better get right with the church. Amen. You better get in the church. The church is a place of safety. Yeah. And if you submit to God and do, do what he tells you, he said, after you say, you're supposed to get in the church and be baptized. Amen. Amen. That's what you're supposed to do. That's right. Well, that's, that's the first thing he tells you to do. Because he wants you to be a part of that bride, a yes, part right. of that church. That's what he blesses. That's what he's coming back for. That's what he protects. Hey, boss, good. Somebody said, well, what do you do with your mission money? I send it through the church. Amen. Because he blesses the church. Amen. Amen. Where do you give your tithe? To the church. Because he blesses the church. Amen. He doesn't bless some television evangelist yeah, with on. big hair. Amen. Yeah, amen. 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 He blesses the church. He's coming back for the church. He loves the church. He died for the church. Right. The church is his bride. Amen. So what did he do? He put himself underneath the submission to it. Good. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ loved the church. And <laughs> right. He created it. He made it. He paid for it. And he gave himself for it. Amen. So how important is it? It's important. The church is on the sideline. Come on. Yeah, but Jesus Christ says it's the main line. Amen. Amen. And amen. Well, you're crazy. Yeah, I'm cracked. That's what yeah. I'm about. Yeah, amen. Praise yes, God. sir. Amen. amen. I'm not of this world. Amen. That's right. I'm, I'm born into another world. Amen. So we see, first of all, and then we find in, in verse 1 of chapter 4, and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. He didn't have to do that. Did he? But he let the Holy Ghost fill him. That's right. The Father, the Son, 
But he, being the son, yet a man, hmm. he was full of right. Yeah. yeah. So if we're going to be prepared for the moment, we probably ought to get all the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. And I don't know, when you're full of the Holy Ghost, it's got to come out somewhere. Amen. That's you're right. You're going to cry, you're going to shout, you're going to do a jig, you're going to run around the aisle. Say, <laughs> yeah. I remember one time out there on the Indian Reservation, we're about seven, between seven and 8,000 feet above sea level. And me and, me and another missionary was out there, and it got on, we were going to run around the building. Amen. We just shout, and we started running around that, that building. And by the time we got to the back door, 